Hello everyone, I am back, and I've got a little change of pace this time. Since we are going to make more of these cars, the um, C6 to C2 <laughs> Grand Sport conversion, and also the C8 to C2 Grand Sport conversion, we're going to need molds. One of the parts that is common to both of them is the front spoiler. It is an exact copy of the front spoiler for the C2 Grand Sport. So in order to make copies, we need to make molds. So what we did was we went into the front spoiler, got it all in good shape, uh, sprayed it with PVA so that the gel coat would not stick and put orange gel coat, tooling gel coat on it did that yesterday and the gel coat was still tacky when we left so or when we were ready to leave so we decided we'll go ahead and leave it overnight and let it cure so then when i came in today i went ahead and put down fiberglass resin and fiberglass mat and so now the part is covered with both of those I only put one layer on because of time. Uh, it is starting to threaten to rain. And the issue is, one, it cannot get wet. I found out from bad experience that even the least little bit of sprinkling or water on there really negatively impacts the fiberglass curing. And then the other thing is the smell. We went back to polyester resin, and even if we'd use uh, the other resin, uh, it smells and I didn't want to mess with epoxy actually waste I guess would be a word <laughs> waste po epoxy on a fiberglass mat part so I went ahead and did this outside of the shop you can see um, I was working just outside of the shop here in the parking lot and when I heard it start uh, thundering and saw lightning and felt just a tiny bit of sprinkle, I quickly moved this inside of the shop. So I'm going to let it cure for a little bit, air out a little bit, and then I'm going to close up the shop and leave. Hopefully the smell won't be too bad. Um, did the same thing yesterday with the gel coat, totally gel coat. And initially it smelled a little bit so we moved it out let it air out a little bit opened up the front and back doors to air it out get a breeze through here which of course i can do in a minute and i came in today and there wasn't any smell at all so that's the issue the other tenants all of these buildings are connected and if i do fiberglass work it smells up not only my shop which i've learned to live with but it smells up the neighbor's shops and they get upset. So anyway, hopefully it won't be an issue. And tomorrow we will put another coat of fiberglass on there. One coat's not enough. It's fiberglass mat. So one layer is not enough. So we'll put another layer on it uh, to stiffen it up. And then we'll probably add some stiffening ribs also. What I've been doing in the past is getting things like a pool noodle, putting it across there, and then putting fiberglass over it. And it gives it a, actually I cut the noodle in half. So that gives it a semi-circular uh, shape and it reinforces it a lot. So I will probably do that. Oh, and then to get it to stick to the fiberglass, initially I use hot glue. So I hot glue it on there and then I fiberglass over it. So that's what I'm going to look at tomorrow. And I'll also trim this up. You can see that I purposely overran all the edges. And so I'll come in tomorrow, trim up all the edges, and then put another coat on, and then maybe uh, put some stiffening ribs on there. Anyway, that's where we're at now. Like, subscribe, hit the alert, hit the thanks if you want to donate. And if you don't like what we're doing, you don't know Jack. Bye.